This is your weekly T-Minus Now briefing, where we break down the biggest moves in space, tech, and the frontier future unfolding right now. Let's jump in. China demonstrated textbook crisis response this week. After debris damaged Shenzhou 20's window, they fired uncrewed Shenzhou 22 from Zhou Chuan on November 25th, docking to Tiangong with fixes and provisions in record time. From blistering Shenzhou docking speed to Tiangong's unbroken operations, their program's agility is commendable, yet it casts a long shadow over NASA is creaky contract-laden model where red tape could doom a similar snag. Beijing's momentum demands Washington rethink its playbook. Meanwhile, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser entered vibration testing, a brutal shake sequence that simulates ascent forces, booster harmonics, and docking loads. It's one of the last major hurdles before thermal vac trials and eventually the first cargo mission to the ISS. After years of anticipation, Dream Chaser is finally moving through the checklist at speed. In the tech world, NVIDIA's next-generation Blackwell AI chips appear to be emerging in early commercial deployment trials. Blackwell promises enormous performance gains and some workloads up to 30 times improvement. For robotics and autonomous systems, that means faster perception, more efficient planning, and tighter real-time control. A reminder that the AI revolution isn't just software. Hardware still sets the pace. SpaceX lost a Starship booster this week during a routine cryogenic loading operation. Preliminary data points to a pressurant COPV, a composite pressure tank failing under load and triggering a structural breach. This wasn't an ignition abort or engine issue but a ground system hardware failure. Investigations continue, and as always, rapid iteration means refining the design one step at a time. And this month marks 52 years since Apollo 17 captured the iconic blue marble, still the most widely shared photograph of Earth ever taken. Reminder of why space exploration matters. Looking ahead, facility movements and new filings suggest the first Starship version 3 test window is tightening. Bigger structure, new plumbing, and more ambitious thermal architecture. We'll be watching the rollout closely. And a quick reality check from the edge of everything, Voyager 1, launched in 1977, is still operating, still talking to us, and now sits roughly one full light day from Earth. That means if it sent a message right now, we wouldn't hear it until tomorrow. Its power comes from a slowly decaying radioactive material, an RTG, that now puts out barely a third of what it once did. Yet somehow, in just a trickle of energy, Voyager still returns engineering signals from interstellar stellar space 47 years later the oldest explorer we've ever launched is still out there still moving and still ours that wraps up this edition of your weekly t-minus now briefing if you found this valuable drop a like share it and subscribe for more space tech and frontier intelligence as always keep your eye on the horizon and your tether tight commander cooper out